Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. So uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday I got a question about these renders from Row and Rendered here. The link will be in the description. And he does since weeks uh, this these renders here. And on my Facebook group uh, was the question how he does it or yeah I don't know how he does it. I can show you how I would do this and uh, yeah and the, the question was not just on, on my Facebook group it it came uh, over my Patreon and over YouTube and everywhere so let's do something we will play a little around with this we will take it and we will see how we can texture like this and uh, I think this it could be done with we can simply uh, select polygons and uh, map on the polygon selection or with a multi-shader or something else uh, something like this with just a color is very easy in the physical render in uh, Octane it's a little more complicated but uh, if we want to do something with the multi-shader also we, also we have to do this more complicated thing in uh, for physical render too we will do both and we will uh, just play a little around so and yeah, visit raw and rendered, and yeah, and look at his works, nice ones. And yeah, let's see if we can do something like this. So I start with a plane, of course. You get plus C here, and I don't need any subdivisions. And now I put the plane in a Voronoi fracture object. Zack. Okay, looks nice already. And yeah, done. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, the next step is in the Voronoi fracture, I go to the sources, point generator, and go here to let's say 150 maybe. I don't want to see the points here. And I don't want this uniform thing normal, so I have more in the middle here. That looks nice. And you can do much more. You can uh, yeah, let's let's play around with this. Uh, take a spline of this too, and or, or whatever. So make a spline here. Uh, just not, nothing special. So 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 so. Oops. Okay. So so. Oops. One two plunge. So and two here. Okay. That's nice. Now I bring the spline in the Voronoi fracture as well. So, whoops, you see we get something here. So let's make here some more points. Oh, that looks not bad. And this could be, could look nice later on when we triangle this. And so. Can take you can make a, a sweep nerves out of this and you get a total different thing. So, so. Uh, but I think for our uh, things it's okay like this. Good. And now let's hide this. It's fine and save this. And how do we name it? Uh, mosaic. It looks like a mosaic. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Now we need to put this in a connect object. So Alt G, because when we don't put this in the connect object, I will show you what I mean. So I put first the Voronoi fracture in a null. It's Alt G. And then I want to displace this. So under the null, I bring a displacer, and this displacer works then on the fracture here. So and I'll show you why we need to connect so but this blazer here and bring in some noise and you will see what's going on here you see it already so let's bring this down a little more contrast here so and you see what we get this is of course not what we want so we have to put the Voronoi fracture in a connect object. And if we do so, we get this. And this is exactly what we want. Nice. So save it. And now 
uh, we could bring everything here in a fracture, but normally it would be, yeah, if you want triangles, now you can use the polygon reduction and bring it under the displacer, Link, and we have triangles. And with the polygon reduction, when I go down here with the number, I get more polygons, you will see. So now something like this. And this is what I thought it is with triangle. This looks quite nice. And from the side, yeah, maybe let's make it a little higher. Displacer, bring it to 20. Okay, more crazy. And let's make a camera. So the camera, we zero it out. Zero, 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 and give it a protection tag and here I'd say okay we can move just in the c-axis so okay nice the next step normally we should be able to for the physical render to work here already so let's try it I make a normal material and bring it on the fracture where are I fracture I'm not sure if this works like this because this idea I had uh, when, when I started this tutorial. I, I made already something, and uh, but with, with a different approach. So, but I had this idea for the, this is a very easy thing. So, but I need here to go to the Logi. If you have the Nicomedia scenery, you can simply go to the, to the scripts and insert render settings here. Uh, or you, if you are a patron, you can download the scene file and you get the, the render settings as well. But this is a very easy setting, so, so there is nothing complicated. This is just physically fixed to and ambient occlusion, that's it. Or is not. Okay. And we need it because we don't see... I want to work with the variation shader, but the variation sh shader you don't see in the viewport. So we have to turn on our preview thing here, so. And now, let's go to the color shader, uh, to the color channel and bring in effects, variation. Good, and in the variation shader, let's go from polygon variation to polygons. And you see, we have already we don't need, even need uh, need nothing. We need no uh, no random effect or no nothing. So this is nice so far, but I want my colors, not not just here a uh, color. What what is randomly given? I want to work with the gradient here. So first I look for a gradient I like. So let's see something uh, this here, this here. and you see it does nothing because the gradient blend is at zero we need this at hundred percent that does nothing to we don't want the gradient mode at normal we want to replace it with the or with the uh, random thing here replace looks better but we have still the random colors inside here and so we go to random color and bring this to zero. Now we have only our colors which we have here. And if you want now one color more and one color less, so you want more of the screen, let's say, so you simply take more of the screen, so, so you can go so here. And you get more and more and more. So of course, it's, so let's see, so let's go down and this should be almost only green you see so okay let's say this is what i want so something like this uh no, maybe more of the right ones so yeah maybe this yeah okay yeah it doesn't matter so uh, the next step is uh, yeah, bring in some reflectors. Uh, 
but if we want to use reflectance and shadows and something else, we we need a GI. So for GI, when I go to GI here, low GI, do the same here, fixed to, but we see nothing. For GI, we need some light or at least reflections or something else that we see something. So I bring in my scene rig and go to background floor, I don't need this. Yeah, I tell it always that updates will come soon. It's a little problem. At the, at the end of the year, I'm always so, so, so busy and uh, I have a problem with, with Octane too. Because uh, Octane, we, we still don't have really a, a, a final version. Uh, we have now 2019.14 uh, and I, I I think I made a hot fix for this and uh, it works, my rig works with Octane. But now we get uh, 2020 and uh, I don't know, the 2020 is a, a very, a very alpha, so, so, so. And I don't know if my rig works there and when they finish, so I have to wait a little bit, so, so sorry. And, uh, yeah, and, and I want to release the rigs uh, at, at once, not just one di uh, first this and then, then this and so. But you will get it, of course. So, uh, yeah, we have this now. Reflectance 100%, 100%, this is okay. I want here a little better quality, so I have one small arrow here, you see, I go up with this. And we get better quality. Let's bring in some better HDRI. So we have more to play with HDRI settings. Shift F8 and foof, what, which HDRI. It does not really matter. So, so. Let's take the first one in. Let's see how it looks. Whoop. It's, it's nice. But I want more reflection here. Ah. That looks not bad. So I can go here to the reflection brightness, the HDRI. Do, 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 do. Give it a little more here. Yes, and maybe give it a little more flannel here. Oh, this is too much. But maybe not so that good. That looks nice here. Let's see if I can. Yeah, preview on so. And maybe it's a little too much. Go back to zero. Okay, and 1.6. Okay, I'll leave it now like this. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. We can change this all later, of course. So, what can we do is next? We could try, go to the variation shader, copy this shader. I bring it in the color mode here, paste it, let's see what you get now. Looks a little better. We can now multiply it and a little darker. This will be it's too much. But let's try yeah. conductor. Yeah, it, it's it's on you how you like it. So so so. Uh, 
I do it how you how you would like. But I think this we can stay here with normal clear it here so I think this is okay. Da, 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 da. This is a little too bright here. Ah, I'm still on conductor. This is. Yeah, do it like you want. Don't, don't, we don't need the time here. So, this is this. So, and now, of course, I want this. This, uh, uh, yeah, this strings, stripes, so atom array. So, I take here my null object and make an instance of it. So. And this null object instance I bring in an atom array. And we will see, okay, that does something like it. 5.5. That looks not bad. Make a new material here. I want to just dark here. So bring it on the atom array. And we have a nice thing here going. And if I render this and make it a little nicer, so make here, uh, go to my render settings and go to the middle GI here and just render it out with the middle settings. Should go quite fast, yes. Of course we have a little grain inside, but we can get rid of this grain. But first I go to my filter and make here some changes. Saturation, more contrast. So we get really nice more exposure. So, just that. And I want to make out of this a post effect. I don't need to see create post effect and look at here. It will give us a post effect here create post effect. Now we have here the color correction. This is the post effect so we can uh, disable the filter here. So and now I render this again and I get these colors only with the post effect and don't have to work with the filter anymore. But I have this grain here still and now in 21, R21 we have the denoiser and this works great so to render again with the denoiser and then we will see the difference and the difference will be nice you see no noise anymore this is before and after this is the same time same render time and we have a nice great thing here and of course you can now so let's disable the preview here. Bye. -bye. Make the atom array of the 0.3 should be enough. And you can put everything on this. So instead of this uh, variation here, let's go back to the low GI and make the render. Okay, and let's say I can put a, a picture on it. So I have here on the second monitor some pictures. I have here some roses or something else, and just drag it instead of the variation shader. And you see, okay, that looks not really correct because of the UV mapping here. This is not the correct. So what I do is I go to and go to. A flat mapping. That looks interesting, but not what I want. <laughs> so and uh, see the flat mapping. The mapping is wrong. So the texture is wrong. So I go to the Voronoi fracture. Here. Go out of the camera here for a moment. And disable this. So. 
and I go now to the texture mode. And I see here we have the texture. Flat is okay. But why does it it should look correct? Let's right click and say da da da, da fit to object. Oh uh, yes, why not? Still not, I'll, I'll try it on the connect object. Here it works now. Now we see this is perfect. So you can make this mosaic with this nice pictures or something then let's take a different picture let's see what do i have here so let's try this one here so <laughs> what do we have here <laughs> one more <laughs> Maybe it just needs a little more and uh I guess two hundred for me. Oops, this is the wrong one. Here two hundred. It's too much, hundred fifty. Oh, you could make it this is even easier so we go again to our texture deck and we are still in texture mode t for scale and i simply scale the texture here a little bit so well i don't want to scale it in every direction i want just to scale it This is not really. Ah, uh, now I have it. So. <laughs> okay, so you can put it like this, or if we want to do work with the random factor or with the. Because so we could make it. Uh, Let's try a, a multi shader, but I think for this we need a, a random effect later. So I save this to make sure. So, uh, Mocha multi shader. Because in the multi shader we could uh, use pictures, colors, whatever we want. But for the now I want just colors. I try to make a white color. Then another color. Red color. Okay, this that, that does not work. So we need a sh we need a shader. There are no fracture. We have the possibility to bring effectors inside, but I don't think that this will work. As I said, I did not test this. This is this idea I, I had exactly when I started the tutorial. But you can try it. For no fracture, select it. Go to random effector. And in the parameter of the random effector, I only want color. That does nothing. Okay. I thought it will, it will do nothing. So what we need is now to tinker a little around. So I have this all okay. What I want is I want to bring this all in a fracture object now first i think i will connect it and then i bring it in a fracture okay take this now arch do not archie and bring this in a connect object first connect so this is nice so far no no not not so i need it like this this is what i need so and now the connect object in a fracture object, which won't work again. So fracture. And the fracture, I need to be explode segments. 
you see now that here down left the corner here it calculates a lot so the, that needs a little bit so, so it, it calculates the fractures but it calculates here the the, the polygon reduction the, the whatever or the Voronoi fracture and, 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 and so let's see how long this will take if you don't want uh, you can make this a little quicker if uh, if you just make this connect here editable but then you you have not the possibility to uh, to change anything later on the only thing we could do is to make the Voronoi fracture here if you are sure you stay with this we could uh, yeah this we could do we could uh, make it edit the the Voronoi fracture editable so because you see it's it needs quite long time uh, it gives a, that don't give us a render or something else oh no this is nothing we could try one thing go to the fracture not select your sources and if you less points there's a hundred here and this blind maybe 20 this should take not so long yeah it's not not the thing I want but you see the atom array still follows so so this is this is all okay but for for the test now we, we take this Okay, we have this fracture and we see the fracture can have an eff uh, effect or two. So I go to the fracture and make here, give this fracture a random effector. So, effector, random effector. So, because the fracture was selected, the random is inside here. The, I could have taken the, the other one too. So, so that's my. This is here again, but I made the only color and it does something but still not what we want we should get let's take first not the multi shader or not this one not this one let's take first so to test it the color shader and okay this is not what we want so now what we need is an explode fx when we need to to explode the fracture for so i do this i bring the connect object in another null and under this null i bring an explosion fx so shift so and i have here the explosion now the explosion should do almost nothing in the time a very very short time so 0.01 is okay here i set everything to zero 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 the direction i set to only one direction so so it has not to calculate so much so only c should be fine the cluster roll to zero here zero 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 so uh, this is the Zero is not possible here, but it's okay. So now let's wait. You see, now it works. Now our random uh, our color shader works perfect. And this is the hierarchy we need for the octane render too. So this, this is the hierarchy for the octane render. And this works, of course, in the physical render too. But if it need just the colors, it, it's it's much easier to work with the variation shader. So color shader, we can bring the color shader now in a colorizer to have our oh, come on colorizer here yep. to get our uh, colors we want. So the preset we had this one here. So it it looks better than with the variation shader, I think. 
It needs a little to calculate and everything, but in the end, I think it looks better than with the color shader, uh, with, with, with the variation shader. So, we know now this works. That means uh, the multi shader should, should work too. So, let's go to the. Let's clear this first. Go to texture, mograph, multi shader. So here we want the color. White is okay for now. Another color. This will be uh, bluish, whatever. See, that works. That works great. And here we can even bring in a, a picture. So add one. And now I drag in, let's see. This picture of the roses here, my meter or so here. Nope. And you see, now we have this, what uh, guided here, so like something like this here. A picture, just colors, and so we get this with, with the multi shader. And that looks quite interesting, so if we go now to, let's go back to our middle GI, but I think here is better we work without the color correction and let's render it again. Yeah, so we have these things and if we want to see more of the picture, let's see how we can do this. Maybe simply Honestly, I did not work with the multi shader a lot. But normally, I make a third with the same picture. So, add. Can I just alt and drag? No. Control drag? No. Up move? No. So, I'm gonna make another one. Add. And I drag the same picture inside. Let's see if this works. Yeah, of course it works. No. Now we have bigger parts of the picture. <laughs> it looks very interesting. Yeah, okay. This is the... Yeah, this is my approach to do this. And... Yeah, no, but as I said, now when we bring in the polygon reduction, bring it back to well, 23 is a lot, but give the Voronoi fracture a little more. Yeah, here 50 for the. Because now you see it, it calculates a lot. So, and if you, if you, the best, the best way would be. You go to, to your co no, no, it's quite quite quick. You you make your Voronoi fracture with the connect, and to, so until this null here, when you and uh, when, when you say so so no, even without this place you could do it. So when you have this 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 pattern you want, you see this yeah this is exactly what I like. Then you could uh, make this null editable here. So bring it in the connect and make the connect editable. Or if you uh, if you uh, yeah you could uh, you could only do disconnect editable and the same hierarchy but you can uh, afterwards uh, you can play with the polygon reduction so you get more or uh, less triangles but you can of course not change the Voronoi fracture pattern anymore so but you see this is works okay and now I go to the Voronoi again. Give it here 150 and let's see how long this takes to... Okay, that's what was was. So we don't have to do anything. Yeah, okay, this is it. And now let's make the same for the... Yeah, now we, we need only the texture, or the, 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 yeah, the, the shader for it, for Octane. Because this is exactly the hierarchy we, we need for Octane too. 
and as I said, if you need just colors in, in physical render, you only have to go until disconnect here and or even bring it just over no of it and you don't need to connect. But this now you need so the display sample the polygonal adaption and I play with this. Why does this work here? The connect normally I thought it will have to, have to go to the fracture here. This is interesting. Yeah, this is a different thing. <laughs> well, it is not the same, is it? No, it's not the same. Yeah, how you like it. <laughs> but be sure you have here the flat mapping on if you if you use a picture, you need the flat mapping here. Yeah, and of course you can now. You can make here in the in the in the shader. The multi shader you can use here a layer shader as well and can bring in uh, whatever you want you can mix something and bring in some scratches or something else you can use bump here on it or if you are really ready now and you say okay this is what i want you can go here to the fraction make another connect and make this connect then editable and then you can select your uh, you can select polygons polygon selection and, and to choose exactly what you want to uh, to colorize or you know, where you want the picture or not or not or something else so but of course if you make this all editable you have then to bring the connect up here in the null instance so you get the same uh, pattern for the atom area I hope this is clear. <laughs> I hope it makes sense. So now let's make. So this is. Uh, I save this mosaic. PR. Physical render. We are to save. Yeah, desktop is okay. And now let's delete here the things. And that's okay. Yeah, in uh, Octane, when you do this, these pictures, uh, so you should go in a flat mapping as well. So you don't have to do it in the in the in in the node editor some somewhere. So simply make a new material. So we don't need any comedia scenery here. B -b 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 delete it and save this and. Uh, Okay. So we see nothing, of course. Let's go here. So I don't need this. Go to Octane, but we need the live viewer. The live viewer shows us not much. We need a material, glossy material. I make it now just with the random effector because it, it works the same with, with the same with the with the multi shader and everything. This is exactly the same. So I just try it now with the So I go to the random effector. So with the random thing. We have everything the same exact so, so, so. let's go down. Yep, we need the color shader. Bring the color shader in the diffuse and bring the material onto our fracture object. It should work normally. Uh, do something. It should work. Why does it not work? Come on, work. It seems we don't see here 
Yeah, uh, it, it's just see our splines, so our atomary here. We need to see the fracture in object design. So, so, okay, it works. And just uh, turned on off and off the refractor object. It works perfect, you see. And here again, we can just go node editor. Color shader, I want my colorizer here. And in this, uh, I work with 29714 here. It does not work when you want to use this. It does not work. So you have to go to your colorizer and bring in here the color shader. Now it works, you see. Colorizer, our desired machine, and we have it. Works perfect. And of course, some material for octane. Just the material. Black. Yeah, here I don't need the notes, uh, just the black. It's a li little roughness here, so it's fine. And bring it on the atomary. Okay. And yeah, we need for, for some reflections and everything. Bring in the, the scenery. I don't need any background or any floor here. Bye bye. The HDRI. Okay, let's bring it. Same HDRI is. Uh, yeah, that looks shiny. But we don't want it shiny. Not, not so shiny. At least not it. Uh, so, bring in some. Quack, 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 quack. Roughness. Hey, it looks it looks nice so we soak it in that with the physic render. But in the physic render when you play with it with the textures and with the lighting you get a, a great result as well. So you could even let's see if we can with this place a little higher. Maybe it's too high then. Yeah it calculates now, you see. So you have to calculate everything again. But that's okay. Yeah, that looks better. And oh, this I like this. Look, look here. This, this, this is what I like. We could even add a little sun here in the rig, so we get some some shadows from the sun. Yes, that looks nice. Here the sun. <laughs> but maybe I don't want to see the sun here. Yeah, I like this. And here the same. You can just bring a picture on it. So let's make another material. A glossy material again. And drag in a, a simple picture. You know, roses again. R roses for a blue. This here, and drag it on our fracture. And we have these nice roses here. <laughs> And if you think it's too, uh, too big, so go to here, UV transform, make it a little smaller. But you see, then it tiles, but we don't want to tile. 
don't want to tile in this. Uh, yeah, it is, it is okay like this. Because, uh, let, let's make it one and simply drag in. Is it? Yeah, now we see the stars. Let's take another one. <laughs> it looks funny. <laughs> okay, but I think you got it. It's, 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 you know what I mean with this. It's a nice picture. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, okay. But I prefer the... Yeah, and here, yeah, now let's, let's, let's try the, let's try the multi-shader too, so, why not? Don't forget to save. Multi-shader. In the diffuse. Bring in one color. So, of course, I go here now to plugins, obtain RGB's color. RGB spectrum here. And here, it does not open here. You could make it here now, or you open it simply the texture here. This is nice. Then another texture. Then. No, come on, where is the RGB color here? RGB spectrum. So, like some yellow thing. <laughs> this looks nice. And here you can as well put in a picture. So, add and bring in the then image texture. Uh, texture. You see that it, it comes out here. That this, this is great. This is very crazy, but they are not connected, but it works. Image texture, bring in again our roses here. Uh, we have some roses picture. Make another one, multi shader. This is the fun thing that we are not even connected, but it works. Don't ask me why. You could ask me why, but <laughs> we'll bring it up then so we have yeah, instead of the blue ones. No. Up here. And instead of the blue one. We have the roses, yeah, that looks great. See, so you can do this. You can work like this. This is now the tutorial and I hope you liked it. So uh, I had fun with it, honestly. <laughs> and it is really not uh, complicated as you can see. So yeah was a nice one so but uh, dun, dun, dun. Well, let's make another set a fourth one with the same picture can i drag this into here it seems so uh, Image texture. This. Is, why does this look different than this? Ah, I cannot open here the texture. So remove this and make it image texture. Wing and bring the file in. 
nope. And so we get more and more of, of this picture. Yeah, you, you see, you, you got it, I think. Okay. Yeah, this was a nice one. So I uh, hope you liked it too. And uh, if you have questions, complaints, requests, please tell me. I will try to help everyone. And yeah, if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so. You can download later the uh, patrons can download later the uh, project files if needed. And yeah, or if you just want to donate once and say yeah, let's buy Nikki some beer or some more beer, <laughs> you will find the link for PayPal in the description. And yeah. I say, I say thank you for watching my uh, tutorial and yeah, that's it for now. I wish you a great weekend and uh, I am quite sure that I will record something on weekend too. So, so you will hear me or see me as again if you want. And that's it for now, I would say. Yep, was fun this one and it worked. Nice, I think. Yeah, but this with the multi-shader, the, 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 this idea was uh, at the beginning of the tutorial and uh, the same with the variation shader. And the variation shader, uh, as far as I know, I'm not sure, but uh, I have in mind that the variation shader does not work here in, in uh, Octane. But I don't want to test it now because then uh, maybe it, it, uh, I crash and then it's and at the end of the tutorial, I don't want to have a crash. <laughs> you can try it. Just try the variation shader if you want. But I don't think that it works in uh, in uh, Octane. Good. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. And all the best here from Vienna in Austria. And now, tschüss und baba.